debate seems to go on, doesn't it, about uh, the use of cannabis and whether it should or shouldn't be legalised. We'll talk to a Labour MP shortly about that. BBC WM. A Birmingham NHS worker exclusively telling BBC WM that people should be free to grow cannabis at home for medicinal purposes. Currently, cannabis categorised as a Class B drug, so it's illegal for anyone to grow or sell it. Louise, who works at a West Midlands hospital, uses cannabis herself to help cope with chronic pain. My work know about my illnesses, but I can't tell them about the way I treat them at home because it's illegal and they'd probably fire me. Do you feel like you're sitting here talking to a criminal? Because technically you are because of my illegal activities, but I don't feel like a criminal. Being, I'm being incriminated for something that I choose to do and I should be able to choose that. It's my decision, it's my body. I wouldn't need to walk out of my job because I could do my job without the fear of losing my job because of my cannabis use. Why here are we not given access to it? And it's almost a human rights issue as well even if it didn't have any medicinal value. Why is it illegal? That's Louise, who works at a West Billings hospital using cannabis to cope with chronic pain. Let's get some reaction from Labour MP Paul Flynn, former shadow spokesperson for health. Uh, Paul, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you surprised to hear someone like Louise calling for cannabis to be, what, legalised effectively? No, um, the law is an ass, and w what your guest is saying uh, reflects the behaviour of many thousands of people in Britain who grow their own cannabis, natural cannabis, and use it as a medicine. And why not? It's been a drug that's been trialled and tested by millions of people for at least 5,000 years in every corner of the world. And because of the, the cowardice and stupidity of politicians, it's classified as an illegal drug. I mean, there are dozens of drugs we could buy over a counter at the chemists or be prescribed by doctors that are far, far more dangerous. The problem is, is because the uh, cannabis is, uh, is supplied by a criminal market, it's far more sensible and safer to grow the stuff yourself. We, we know uh, what the strength is and you've got control over it. So, I mean, what she's doing is entirely sensible. Why on earth shouldn't people use the drug of choice in order to combat severe pain? Thousands of people are doing this, but obviously not being prosecuted. Either they haven't been caught, but technically what they're doing is illegal. So what do you do to change the law? Because would you accept that um, cannabis can damage people's mental health, mental well-being, um, or not? Lots of drugs can, can be dangerous, I think that... Uh, but is cannabis dangerous or not? I mean, cannabis should be kept out of the hands of children, out of pregnant women, out of people who had predispositions towards mental health problems. But that's, that applies to a great many drugs. But in this case, uh, we, we have a law uh, that uh, has existed for a long time. It's never made any sense. There are areas in the world, and a growing number of them, where, where cannabis is freely available for medical use. But the other side of this is saying uh, that adults who know what they're doing are forbidden to taking what is a, a healthy medicine uh, that's almost certainly less dangerous than the addictive drugs on the market like uh, tobacco and alcohol that are far more dangerous in every way. And adults should be allowed to make their own choices. But the reason that uh, nobody goes to court uh, uh, charged with using medicinal cannabis is because the judges and the juries will refuse to convict. And the police will tell you they've got far better uh, things to do with their time than arresting sick people who are se seeking relief from pain. Uh, countries like Canada, uh, Israel, I think, the Netherlands, cannabis is produced by, I think, a limited number of licensed producers. So what would you do if you had your way, Paul, in this country then? I love people to use it freely. I'm much happier about people using natural cannabis because that's the way it's been used uh, for 5,000 years. The problem with the products, the medicinal ones, they have the same problem as, as lots of other chemical drugs, is that they haven't been ingested by human beings uh, for uh, long periods. We don't have that much use with them. Any natural substance 
substance is very complex. It may be that ingredient 38 of cannabis, if it's uh, extracted, uh, might detoxify ingredient 432. The chemistry is not understood and highly complex, so it's far better. Rather than using the ones that are available, there, there's TCH is available, nabalone is available, uh, dronabinol is, is available, but the, the safest of all to take is the, the drug, which is balanced by uh, the other ingredients in it. It's safer because it's been used, trial tested, uh, for thousands of years. For goodness sake, let the law get off the back of sick people and let them seek the relief that they uh, that they want and should be free to choose. Lynn Featherstone, uh, who's a government minister, nobody from the Home Office available for interview, but the Crime Prevention Minister, that's Lynn Featherstone, says the government currently no plans to legalise cannabis or to change our approach to its use as a medicine. It, that says a lot, I'm afraid, for politicians of all parties. 41 years ago, we, we decided to introduce the strictest punishments for drug use in all of Europe. Uh, the result w has been that uh, then, in 1971, there were a 1,000 people addicted to heroin and cocaine. There are now 300,000 people addicted to those drugs. Prohibition doesn't work. Prohibition creates a criminal empire uh, that flourishes, and what we've got is some some of the drugs, some of them dangerous drugs, being used uh, by vulnerable people and used in the most dangerous way. What we should uh, make available is cannabis that can be in drinks or in food or taken as, as a vapor rather than smoked. I'm very much against smoking. That stage wherever you smoke is, is dangerous uh, because of the, the problems that would arise from it. But let's, for goodness sake, accept this as an ancient, effective medicine and treat it responsibly. Paul Flynn, Labour MP, former shadow spokesperson for health. Paul, good to have you on the show this afternoon. My pleasure. The voice of Birmingham and the black country. BBC WM 95.6. I welcome your thoughts. Paul Flynn, the Labour MP, saying uh, the law is an ass. Cannabis should be legalised. People that need to use it for medicinal purposes should be able to without the threat of being prosecuted. He also said that uh, you don't get people prosecuted because the police have got more important priorities.